All right, so now we are going to learn about the program UModel. In order to download UModel, you can go to Google and search for UModel. Here is also called e UE Viewer. You can scroll down here to find your Windows version. Download it. Go in folder. When you extract, you can navigate wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop for this tutorial. Create a new folder so it goes in its own folder. Hit OK. Now, brand new folder created for it. If I open this folder, have two in here you can use whichever one works for you i to me i just always click on this one now when this pops up it's wanting to know which folder you want to search through for unreal asset files so for us we want to work with session we will navigate to our session folder if you need to know where this is you can open your steam and right click on session Choose Manage Browse Local Files. This is the folder you are looking for right here. So you can copy this. And in new model, you can paste it right here. Hit Enter. And this is the folder you're looking for. Go ahead and hit Select. And then everything here can be left alone. What you want to do is click OK. What's going to happen is it's going to come up with this AES encryption key that is used to protect the game files. Thankfully, we have access to that key, and I will link that with this post. The key I have saved on my desktop for easy access. So we paste the key in, and hit OK. Now we can see the game file. The model is used to Extract the files that you want to manipulate and replace them with something else. Um, for this, we will do a texture. We will, we will export a texture. So I will go to, let's do the characters texture. We'll do customization, characters, AMXX, body base, texture. I want to get the body. DC is base color. You can double click on these. We are using the Unreal Engine 4.27, so make sure you select that. When you open this, you will see the texture for the character's body. You don't if you selected the wrong thing and you want to go back, just choose file, open package, and it'll take you back to here and you can keep going through finding different things like in Maybe instead you actually wanted the head. So here's the head texture. Another way you can do this is you can click flat view. This will show you all files in a list and you can filter it by name. Say I just want head. Now I lowered the list, but the problem is there's a folder named head. So it includes everything within that folder. So instead, maybe I want head BC, because I want the base color for a head. Now our list is much smaller. You have your custom sk er, pro skater heads. And then we have the AFXX is the average female skater. We have average female 3, 4. We have the average male head which is what we were looking for and then male three four and another average male oh this is for something completely different so dad let's do the body again the body extra average male body got it right here so if i want to extract this i can click here and choose export. 
when I choose to export, it will ask me where I want to export. This is completely up to you, but it defaults to a folder inside of the U model. It will create its own U model export folder. So if I hit OK, it's going to now create a folder in here with the content I just selected. And it will always maintain the folder structure from the game. Yep. Game, customization, characters, AMXX, body base, textures, just like we navigated, and here's our body. It exports in a TGA format. It does not need to be replaced in the TGA format. So, editing something like this can be done, I will show in a later tutorial. But this is how you export files. Just to show you we can do it with something else, let's take a mesh. Say I want the full body base. I don't remember what it's actually called, so I'm not going to filter it. I'm just going to navigate to it because I know where it exists. So in the body base, it's scale meshes instead. AMXX full body base. Click on it, you can see the 3D mesh. It looks a little off because it has masked textures on it. But, we can then export this. I'll export to the same folder. Now, you'll see in here, I now also have extra folders because I had extra content get exported. When you export a mesh or... Yeah, when you export a mesh, it will export everything that that mesh references. All materials, all textures. So when I open this, I won't just have scale mesh and textures. I'll also have materials. And these are the materials applied to that mesh. And here's the mesh itself right here. And now we have extra textures because it exported the body and the head texture. This can also be done with audio. If you want to export, say... Onboard uh, flip trick sound or something. I don't know. Let's export the pressure flip audio. Same place. But now it is. Uh, maybe it doesn't export audio and I was wrong. Huh. Could have sworn it did. Either way. We do know where this exists, so in a later tutorial I will show you how to replace something like a wave file, or a mesh, or a texture, a material, anything you want to replace in the game, you can use this to find its location and name in order to replace it. And this is because Unreal is very specific about folder structures and file names. So. This will be all for the Unreal, uh, the Unreal UV Viewer U model, and see you in the next tutorial.